Two News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer was in Owasso today as students walked out of the classroom. These folks want change. As organizer Cassidy Brown told Two News, they want to see more advocacy for LGBTQAI rights at Owasso Public Schools. It starts with us. Um, I mean, we can be the start of the change that this town needs um, to get the support on the school board that we need for that change to happen. Brown tells us she worked with the students so she didn't feel like they were organizing the walkout themselves. The walkout was sparked from Next Benedict. The sophomore non-binary Owasso student who died a day after a fight in the bathroom with other students the day before. Hannah Parker says she's a current student and felt obligated to be there. We as a community need to protect our students and our children. It all starts at home. These parents need to raise their kids with kindness. This man wouldn't tell me his name, but he says he's from Evansville, Indiana and part of the group, official street preachers. As you can see, there was one counter protester here that has been here the whole entire time, generating a lot of attention and noise. And then there was a group on the other side of the school, much quieter. They avoided the counter protester altogether. That's where Brown stayed. Brown says you can't fight hate with hate. You can't act like what's been going on and expect to change if we're going to have that same behavior. Voices were clearly heard Monday, and everyone stayed safe, just as Parker hoped. In Owasso, Justin Air, 2 News, Oklahoma. In a message Sunday night to parents, the Owasso School District said they were aware of this planned student walkout. They tell us all students who attended the walkout today were marked absent.